Namaste. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Prabhat Ali. So in my previous video, I have shown you my final year project, Smart Attendance Management System, which was based on face recognition. So when working on this project, uh, we found that there are many security issues that exist in face recognition technology. So let me clarify this uh, scenario with the help of an example, right? So suppose you have an unlocking system that is uh, based on face recognition, right? So what if someone tries to access your phone by showing your photos and videos? This can be very dangerous and it can lead to someone unauthorized person accessing your phone. So uh, is the face recognition technology uh, is improving and achieving new heights the attackers are also being smart. So they are inventing new techniques to attack those systems. So in this video, we'll cover what are the security issues that exist in face recognition technology. And then we'll look into the solutions that we can adapt to uh, prevent such kind of attacks. And finally, at the end of this video, we'll uh, build a system uh, that can prevent such kind of attacks. So before going into the coding section, so let's see what were the security issues that exist in face recognition, right? So the first issue in face recognition was print photo attack. So what is print photo attack? So print photo attack is a type of attack in which the attacker uses the printed photo of a person to attack the system, right? So next attack is a mobile photo attack. So what is mobile photo attack? So mobile photo attack is also a type of attack in which the attacker uses the photo from his mobile to get access to the system, right? So another type of attack is a replay attack. So in this attack, the attacker uses the video of a person as to get access to the system. So next attack is the photo marks attack. So in this attack, the attacker uh, creates a marks from a 2D photo and uses that marks to spoof or attack the system, right? So, and uh, last uh, type of attack is a 3D marks attack. So, this is a very complicated attack. So, in this type of attack, uh, the attacker uh, creates a 3D marks of a person and then uses that 3D marks to get access to the system, right? So here we have covered all the types of attack that exist in the face recognition system, right? So now it's time to look into the solutions that we can adopt for preventing such kind of attacks. So for preventing such kind of attacks, we need face anti-spoofing system. What is face anti-spoofing system? A face anti-spoofing system is a biometric system which is capable of figuring out whether a face comes from a real person or a fake person right so if it comes from a real person then it labels it as real and if it comes from a fake person then it labels it as a spoof so now the questions may arise where this face anti spoofing system comes into picture in the face recognition system right so so we can uh, get this answer from this figure right so the circle part is where the face anti spoofing system comes into picture just before the face recognition process. At first, the staff faces towards the web camera and then the web camera got initialized and it captures the portrait face of staffs, right? So then on those portrait faces, we apply face detection algorithm, right? So after applying this face detection algorithm and those detected faces are forwarded to the liveness detection method or the entry spoofing method. So the liveness detection method checks whether that face comes from a real person or not. So if it comes from a real person, then it forwards it to the face recognition process, right? So let me quickly show you the demo of the system that we are going to build in this video. So for the demo part, I have opened uh, Visual Studio Code and for running this system, so let me go into the terminal and type in python liveness underscore net dot pi and press enter and this will run the system. So here you can see web camera is initialized and now the system is working. So here you can see that the system has identified my face 
and it has created a bounding box around my facial region and at the top of the bounding box it has printed a label called real so which means that the system has identified my face as a real face so let's try to see how the system behaves when we try to spoof the system by showing our photos from mobile okay so here so here again the system has detected a face and created a bounding box around my facial region but at the top of the bounding box it has printed another label called spoof that means that the system has identified this face as a fake face or a spoofed face so let me close this so that's what's for this video so in my next video i'll show you how we can build our live face and spoofing system from scratch so see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay safe and keep learning.